Hey there, fair maidens, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, I think sunny and feeling confident, but maybe after a balance shift, I also think it'd be very chatty today. We'll talk about that in a minute. What happened in the last 24 hours is the moon moved from your sign, Virgo, into Libra. Now, one of the qualities of having the moon in your own sign, remember, moon is emotion. So when the emotion and the moon is reflecting your own constellation back at you, what it does is take away all the silly fears. You're not afraid of the dark suddenly. You don't worry about those things you usually worry about. And for a Virgo, that's really nice, right? Well, when the moon moves out of Virgo, you might all of a sudden have all of your fears crop up in front of you again. I just want to let you know that's because the moon's no longer helping you pass those. Now you got to step in and do it. That was just a little 36-hour transit. And when the moon moves into Libra, for everyone on the planet, the first sector of it, the first chapter, is about balancing the Earth's emotions. And sometimes it takes a little drama in order to get things balanced. So I hope you don't have to go through that. Most of the time, in my experiences, uh, the Virgo will actually stand very tall. And since you are always of service to others, you'll probably have the phone ringing off the hook, helping them with their drama, not necessarily yours. Now, having the moon in Libra does pull your emotional consciousness into esteem self-esteem and abundance and money. So if money's been difficult, that might be the fear that crops up I was talking about, right? That's just something you should know. But really, this is a better opportunity for you to light cast, put your heart into your light casting, into your abundance making, and into your loving yourself, which is a good quality right now. So if you have that opportunity to do that today, take the uh, half full instead of half empty approach. The sun is making you very chatty though. We talked about it yesterday. You might have had something come like some bad news or a conversation or an email you didn't want to have and that might have shocked you. The point was for you to think differently and that's why today I think with Mercury ruling the day and the sun in the consciousness of thinking and communicating, I think Virgos will probably be pretty chatty, talking people's ears off and if nothing else, journaling or way deep inside the matrix of your mind. All right, Virgo, that's all we got for Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Until then, live, love, be. So